different countries, if you have had the opportunity to travel to different countries, uh, you will tend to notice that uh, the cultures are different. They are all people. Literally, you can see that this is a human being. The cultures are different. And depending on those cultures is the expression of those individuals. Because of that, you will tend to see that the expression of different people, you can tell that this is a different culture. Like, for example, if you go to Tanzania, you can tell uh, that this is a Tanzanian to some degree because of cultures build expressions. So you can tell a Tanzanian by their culture. Like, if you go to South Africa, I don't know it's because I went there. Many people don't understand. So it will express in your mouth your culture out of the abundance of your heart. The culture that is in your heart will eventually come through your mouth. So let's say you have a culture where you are used to hating people and you have developed that culture over time. Ten years later, you are still hating people. Your mouth, no matter how careful you become, at some point, your mouth will sell you out because it's your culture. It's how the cycle of your life revolves. And that culture will be expressed through your mouth. Because of those different cultures, they are, the day you became born again, you were handed over a document. That document um, is like now you are a Kenyan citizen. And then a time will come when you are of age, you will be handed a document. That document, if you go with that document to Tanzania, to Uganda, to Burundi, to the US, wherever, that document is what proves which country or which nationality you are from. So all of us are from here. You have a certain nationality in that regard. But the day you became born again, literally you were alienated. The current ID you had was thwarted. And in that process of being eliminated, a new ID was given to you. Now, with that new ID, the problem is that that new ID is from another realm. And you are expected to behave like that realm. You are handed an identification. So you are now going to be identified as a citizen of another country. I've told you time and again, our father Abraham explained this country very well. He called it a far country in the book of Hebrews. It's literally a country. So you must, the goal now is to be identified by another country. Now, because you yourself, you are not familiar with that country, you must study the guidelines of that country to begin to behave like that country even before you get to that country. This is where the problem is. And so let's say that your culture, you don't pray. When you enter into this system, you begin to behave like that system. Prayer becomes normal. Fasting becomes normal. Those are our, that's, our, that's what governs our kingdom culture. It's our culture. And so in our culture, in your culture, you can be allowed to hate. Are you hearing me? That's your culture. But you see, unfortunately, God is bigger than your culture. When you became born again, God didn't make you a Jalu or a Maasai. God made you a kingdom man. Now, the problem is, you used to be a Jalu for 40 years, a Kikuyu for 40 years, a Kamba for 40 years, a South African for 40 years, a Tanza. All that, the day you receive Jesus, becomes a secondary option. But before you received Jesus, it was your primary goal. So then, let's say in your culture, you drink blood. That's your culture. When you come into this culture, we don't drink blood. Now, the goal is your body has been drinking blood for 40 years. But now when you come into this, first of all, you receive a culture shock. That God will tell you, here in my system, in this kingdom, in our culture, we don't permit blood. Now, your heart is willing to accept that new culture. But the problem is you are not your heart. Your heart is a part of you. But your heart is not all of you. So even if your heart is willing, the problem there is your flesh. Because your flesh has been taking blood for 30 years, 40 years. It doesn't just change in a day. So then what becomes the goal? The goal is to make our bodies accept the new culture. And that's why your body must be offered. You bring your body just like you offer a bull, you offer a chicken. Eh, for Christmas, you bring your body, you put your neck on the, what do you call the kereas? On the slaughter. You tell God, slaughter this flesh, slaughter it. Slaughter it. Because this new culture does not support that thing you are doing. Now, you have two things. Either you live calling the name of the Lord, but you are literally in a different culture. Then the question will be, will you really get there? Because they call me Lord, 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 Lord. Those are people that they speak with their mouth, but their hearts are far away. So the day you became born again, a new set of rules that support the culture were introduced to you. Now, the goal is you must live according to that system. If you claim to be a Kenyan, there are things that sell you out, even if you go to China. 
You know, I've been to different nations. Now, I'm Kenya and I'm Kenya. Like I went to Rwanda a while back. A while back. They took Nyamachoma to Rwanda. There's a place they call Kawash. Men, it is exactly like our Nyamachoma, where we roast meat on the road. The guy took exact replica there. I went and I sat down there many years back, like seven. I sat there and I saw, I knew, even before I was told, I asked a simple question. Is this a Kenyan? Only for me to realize it's Kamau. You see, if, wherever you go, who you are will be revealed. Because that's your culture. And so even if territories change, if this is what or who you are, it will eventually just blow out and blow out and blow out. So the problem necessarily, and I'm not saying the churches, some of them are, are not wrong. But the, most of the time, the problem is not the church, really. It's you. Your, your expectations are not kingdom. And so you tend to change from here to there to there to there, thinking that you are looking for your culture. You are not looking for your culture because probably that culture is what you need to change. You are looking for the wrong thing. And in this kingdom, there is a culture that is supported, that when we look at you, we must tell, this is one of us, the culture of the kingdom. It is my prayer that tonight, as we take this few minutes to journey deeper, the reality of the culture of heaven will be made known. Because now the problem is, we are in the world, but we are not of the world. It would have been better the day you got born again, in my view, thank God I'm not God. If me, I was given the privilege of being God for two minutes, that you, if you get born again, you, I will rapture you. Because that's, you are safe. But you see, God's goal is not that you should just be born again. God's goal is to represent Christ here. That's why when you got born again, he didn't rapture you. In fact, he plans to keep you longer. So now the problem is, I am in the world, but I'm not of the world. And I know you, you think you know. My job is to re-emphasize the gospel. I know we know the scriptures, but it's one thing to know, it's another thing to understand. In all thy getting, get understand. So now we are in the world. Previously, we are in the world and we are off the world. That's a person that's not born again. So it's not hard to operate in the world because you are part of the world. Now, the day you became born again, God still kept that in the world. He still kept it. And then he decided to do the second to add of not of the world but before you were born again you are in the world and you are of that world when you get born again he decided to only change the last part you are still in the world but he now tells you your operations will be as though you are not of this world. now the problem is how do you behave in the world like you are not of the world it's a very very hard thing and this is why when a person dies the lord requests in the bible that we should be happy today we are happy when they come and sad when they leave but biblically speaking you should be happy when you should be sad when a person is born and happy when they die because now in that system let's say you die born again it's no longer a struggle you have been perfected into that new image so that new image cannot know what is seen do you understand but now the problem is this image you still have deposits of what is the tree of good and evil actually you can be part of that tree because now you become born again there is good and there is evil so you must daily choose God. You choose God daily. You can't say I got born again 10 years ago. Me, I pray the prayer of salvation every day. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just want you to know I'm still up for the enrollment. I'm born again. What does it cost you to be born again 50 million times? What will it cost you? Just, it's good. Tell your neighbor. It's good. It's better to be sure. You just say, you wake up in the morning, Lord, I receive you into my heart. I could not I pray once, only for me to get to the end of it and I never... Yeah, so I'm better. It's sure it's better. It's better to be safe than sorry. So I wake up every morning. I'm like, Lord, I'm, I, I receive in my heart. And in case I didn't do it yesterday, I want you to know today is the day of the Lord. And today is the day of salvation. So today, my salvation is every day. Every morning, Jehovah, we are still together. It is needful that we understand that we are in a different culture. And so some of the things, the current culture used to be yes. In this new culture, it will be no. And you either accept the culture of the kingdom or you cut off but you cannot be at the middle it's not like the citizen of like you can be an american citizen and come get a kenyan citizen no that doesn't work you can't be a darkness citizen and and get a light citizen you can't be darkness when you want and light when you want it's either you are cold or hot there is nothing like lukewarm do you understand that i pray today that the culture of the kingdom of god will become our routine in the mighty name of jesus anywhere in your life where there are struggles may the culture of the kingdom override those struggles in jesus name may we desire to represent christ more than self in jesus name hallelujah